uh, Deep, uh, your journey began, uh, I mean, what made you take the plunge into travel? So I wasn't a travel guy. Sometimes I feel I'm still not a travel guy. It's been eight years now. Uh, I think the big driver was really to A, do something on my own, B, to leverage the internet, which I thought was a very exciting opportunity. And see, the most logical thing in that seemed to be either travel or online stockbroking. And I picked travel because it was closer to my heart. And uh, you began with your own funds or was it... Uh, what? So, so initially there was a little bit of... Well, I had too little capital to do a, ca uh, a, a full-fledged travel portal. So I did raise some uh, early stage funding. Uh, however, the story got interesting one year down the line when our VC actually backed out. There was a slowdown, this was post 9-11. VC backed out of the country, uh, pulled out all investments. At that point of time, I did put in my life savings uh, into the business. And then what made you at that point continue to pursue? Because this was 2001. Yeah, Ram, it had been now about 15 months into the business, 15 to 18 months into the business. Um, I clearly saw a lot of potential. Um, there was it was it was pretty clear to me as well as to senior management that um, the business was headed in the right direction uh, our lines uh, revenue and expenses were uh, bound to cross uh, it was going to take probably another year for us and there was so much hard work that had gone into it though i'm very practical and a big believer in sunk cost but i also saw the promise up ahead and i thought at that point of time if we quit we would clearly be losing out on something which is something great to come and what did you learn from the years 2001 to 2005? I mean, in your business, there was no domestic business, right? So what? Yeah, and those were really, I would say, perhaps the most important years of our evolution. Particularly 2001 to 2003, those, those two years were really hard, post 9-11, post dot com bust. Clearly with a very, um, uh, with a severe resource crunch, uh, with our backs towards the wall, uh, going back to really what I would say is uh, uh, the classical bootstrapping days and uh, I think that was a very exciting time for us and we really discovered uh, uh, the belief that we had in our business, the belief that we had in each other, uh, the belief that we had that Make My Trip was clearly, um, uh, we were onto something pretty big. Uh, I think that, that toil and hardship for those 24 months really cemented the foundation for what is today helping us surge ahead. And uh, if you had to highlight uh, two, three key uh, uh, capabilities that you acquired in those initial years, which today you're able to use, if you... Um, I would say um, uh, resilience is one. They say there's a fine line between resilience and stubbornness. I like to call it resilience, but clearly the, there was, uh, because of the belief in the business, I think one could be much stronger and tougher about it. Resilience helps and there's no better time than now. Uh, challenging times and I think right now you will need resilience and people who believe in that business will, will really succeed. Um, I think an innate confidence and trust in your team, uh, which, uh, you know, I, 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 I will always say the success that we are, we are now enjoying is not due to one person by, you know, at all. It's really a team effort. And that, that team is now coming to the fore. And I, I think that uh, the, the, the investment in the team is now bearing out. So I'd say these are two really important ones. Um, thirdly, you know, I, I, I think it, it would be, you know, it's fair to say that it helped me kind of discover and realize for myself uh, where one's own strengths lay, where my colleagues' strengths lay and really to play to people's strengths. No one's perfect, I'm sh definitely not perfect. Some of my team members, they have their phenomenally strong points, but they also have their chinks. And I think I discovered at that point of time, let's play to everyone's strength, let's give them what they are good at and right at, and let's not work too hard on the stuff that they need to improve, let's just give that to someone else. I think that, that really helped. Uh, and, uh, and today, I mean, is uh, uh, do you wish you were a programmer? And how important is, uh, is that something that is, what is your... Yeah, uh, I, I don't think really a programmer, but uh, uh, clearly if I have one regret in life, I think it would have been it would have been good to be able to wear the CTO and the CEO hat at least for a while and then get in a CTO. So I, I think the understanding in depth of the technology part side of the business, yeah, it would have been an added advantage. 
But then again, this is, you know, uh, it's hindsight and hindsight's 2020, but it could also have been if I went down that path, maybe I yeah. would lose out on something else. Correct, correct. Uh, thanks. Thank you, guys. Yeah.